Um, how do you feel about our government currently? <laughs> Man. Uh. <laughs> what is up, guys? What's up, y'all? Uh, Foggy Train here. This is the first of the interview series that I want to do. I have Mr. Mason Wallet with me today. How y'all doing, Kat? Uh, so I know we did this the last time yeah. when we did Unproblematic. Yeah. Um, but if you don't mind, just tell them a little bit about yourself, whatever you want to get out first. Right. Yeah. Um, very good friends with Dustin. You know, I've been knowing him since like oh, wait. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> whatever grade you you were you were at Lordville your whole life, right? Yeah, Lord yeah. So yeah. same. Yeah, uh, twenty two. Uh, working at a good job right now. Um, yeah, uh, I had I've been through a lot of surgeries in my life. Um, what was it? Open heart, open heart surgeries. Past past in my life. My bad. So yeah, uh, pacemakers. Uh, That's just about it. What What is it like? Uh, I, I guess I mean I I don't know what it is like. So, what's it like to uh, to have a pacemaker? Like, does, how does it affect your your day to day life? Uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just kind of weird to have like you know like a battery mm -hmm. that's connected that has wires that's connected to your heart. It, it's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I, I like it. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty it, dope. It's interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, then you also mentioned uh, how you're working at a job. What's the name of your job? Like, what do you do there? Um, it's called Gritic Electrical Services. Mm -hmm. um, I'm basically in charge of, like, all the inventory in a warehouse that nice. uh, we go through for jobs that we go to. Um, I got to make sure what goes in and what goes out the shop and, um, like, deliveries. I got to be on top of that, too. Gotcha. Nice. Like if we need um a job for next week, I would have had it shipped to the shop last week. So you kind of, I just have to keep stuff ahead. You yeah, know? you kind of not not manage the the whole thing, but uh, you you have a pretty critical role at yeah. the at the place. Gotcha. <laughs> pretty cool. All right, let's see. I have some I have some uh questions that I wrote down that I wanted to uh to get into. Uh, who is your favorite? artist whether musically or in general oh man uh, that's a hard one <laughs> you know Dude, that's a hard one hold up let's start with, let's start with genre what's your what's your favorite genre, genre you think like um man like like rock rock okay so rock is i feel like kind of like, it's a cla like classic rock like, um, gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna say rock is a kind of a big umbrella term yeah. these days. Classic um, rock, like a uh, Aerosmith. Yeah. Um, ACDC. Uh, was it uh, Guns N' Roses? Oh, Guns N' Roses is fire. That's like a good Guns one. Roses. Um, what's your what's your favorite Guns N' Roses song? Um, knocking on Heaven's Door. Knocking on Heaven's Door. That's a I good like, one. I like that song. I like Sweet Child of Mine. I'm a sweet child of mine kind of guy. <laughs> uh, what else they had? What other good songs that they had? Man, there, there's a lot, but I, I can't I can't think of any. There's, there's so like classic rock is it's something that like I don't really get tired of listening to. Like there's a lot of songs today that I'll get tired of, but I can always put on some classic rock and I'll I'll enjoy what I'm listening yeah. to. Especially if I haven't listened to it in a really long time. I forgot which one it was. Uh. Is it is it Sweet Emotion? But is that Aerosmith? And it's like Sweet Emotion. Na, 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 I think so, dude. That one slaps that, that, like that hard. One does slap. I like that. Um, but yeah, I put that one on the other day, and I just I had it on like repeat because like man, this song is so good. Yeah. I forget about how good it is. That and um, the band Rush. I don't know that Rush. I know any songs by Rush. I, I'm sure I know some, but like. I they, can't think of any off the top of like, my head. They like some short, short songs, but they they pretty good. And they're about like two minutes long, and that's about it. But there's some pretty good songs. I like it. What's the? Do you know any by them that you think I would know? Like any like super popular ones? Uh, Oracle. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> that that's the only uh, popular one that they have. I can't. I, I don't think I. I'd have to look into it. I'm sure there's some that I've that I've heard before. I'm just not thinking of. 
Um, let me see. What about uh? What about like rock? Mu- I mean, not rap music. Rap music. What's your, who's rap your favorite music. artist? <laughs> Young boy. Let's go. The baby? <laughs> no. Uh. Uh. What's what's his name? L- little baby. Little baby. Really? Yeah, little baby. I don't know. The, I, I mean, like I I I know some songs by him, but like I've never just like looked up little baby to listen to his music. But uh. I mean, I'm not really big into rap music to begin with, though. But um, I don't listen to a lot, but like when I hear some, that like, they slap. Yeah. Like with uh, I could appreciate some. What is it? The one with uh, Lil Baby and Drake. Um. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, wait. Um. God. It's on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think of it. Uh, man. Yeah, it came out like what last year? Yeah. I. Or maybe two years ago. I don't know. I I can like see the album cover in my head. But uh, uh whatever. Uh, oh, like I'm tempted to search it up. Let's, oh, let's look it up. It. Why not? Let me see. Um, Drake and little baby. Drake, little baby. So, uh, wants and needs. Wants or yes and indeed. needs. Yes, indeed is the one that I was thinking of. That one is wants, fire. Wants and needs. Yes, indeed. That um, one, that one's good. I like that. Um, I you I I find I listen more to like. I, I referred to it as country until recently when I was corrected that it's not country, but like Zach Bryan, Tyler Zach Childers, Bryan. Childers, whatever type music, which they call, they refer to as like folk music instead. Yeah, I like that. Dude, that is, it's like the perfect drinking music. It's just so yeah, chill. It's like peaceful, you know? Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Cody, Cody Johnson? Cody Johnson Kojo? gets some good songs. Yeah. Um, what's his, what's his, uh, Mar- Morgan Wallen, I like uh, Morgan Wallen, dude. So, some of the songs are pretty good for Morgan Wallen. A lot of like, people find him too like poppy, but I find I really like his music. Yeah, like every time people are like, "Yeah, I, I hate uh, like radio music," and I'm like, "Yeah, me too." But like, I like Morgan Wallen's music, and they'll be like, yeah. "Oh my gosh, what? Why? Like why?" I'm, I'm like, like, dude, dude is I don't know. I think it's good. I like it. Um, like the old Jason Aldean uh music. Oh yeah, like the the um, dirt road. Yeah, song. chilling. No, yeah, dirt road. Oh, so good. I like that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of a, another one that would be good for you. Um, what advice would you give to your 15 year old self? Just pay attention to. Uh, what life choices you make. Um, make sure you don't make the bad ones and you always make the good ones, you know. Just uh, think straight and just what I think, you know. I find, I find, I think it would be like when it comes to me trying to give advice, like I, I, I don't know what I would say because, yeah, I mean, it's right off the bat. I don't know. I feel like a lot of uh, what learning from life comes from making the wrong choices yeah uh i don't know it's 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 kind of a, a balance that you have to strike but um i had, I had another good one that i wanted to ask uh so you're you're pretty religious right like you go to like church oh, yeah. and all that church every sunday, sunday um, morning. how important do you think religion is uh to the in the world today um I mean, like, which, like, to, like... Just in general, not even necessarily, like, your religion. Just religion as a whole, whether it be Christianity, Buddhism. I think everybody needs a a little bit of it. Like, you know, it, right. would, it would be good for everybody in the world just to touch God and whatever they believe in and just to have that thought to, like, know, like... Yeah. Uh, someone, like, someone that they actually believe in is existing he's out there you know i would agree i, I yeah. would agree there what uh are there any particular like moments in your life that kind of helped to shape your belief today in religion um like like visions really like uh, i think we i think you talked about this a little yeah, bit before I did. like when i was in the hospital like about three times to- i think it was three times um i had passed out um I had passed out and all I saw was like like bright white clouds or whatever and I can see like a 
a gate, like going to heaven. It was just a glimpse. And I can just see like God on the side of me, you know. And I was about like for 10 seconds. It wasn't very long. But I just knew like it's out there. Like right. it's real. It's definitely real. I've never had any experience like that. But it, it's crazy how many people have that experience and they go on to yeah. tell about it. And it's so real. And a lot, I mean, a lot of people like doubt it, but like it to, to the people it happens to, it's like, there's, there's no doubt in their mind that that's what they experienced. Yeah. I think it's, that's amazing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, let me see. Has there ever, uh, on, on, while we're on this topic of, of religion, have there been any significant moments that made you question your beliefs? Would you say? Mm. I don't know. Um, I, I really, I really don't know. I mean, there's no moments in my life where I had that uh, question in my head. But yeah, I mean, I'd say, as as far as luck, luck in life goes, you, you, you gotta, you, you seem pretty blessed with yeah. oh, with yeah. your situation. So that's uh it's understandable for you to yeah have some pretty solid faith. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. Let me see. To get on a a, a different topic now. Um, Dead space. <laughs> or, or would you be interested in dead playing Dead Space one day? Do you do you like like horror games? Kind of. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a horror game. Yeah. Well, I mean, gameplay. Yeah, it's a horror cool. game, but it's like a, a FPS horror game. Yeah, I like that. Oh my gosh, the light, the light, the light is terrible. So what the light? Oh. Oh my goodness, I gotta, I gotta fix this. Are you good? Oh my god, it's because it's because the sun is moving and so it's causing we're just gonna have this in the corner oh, now to block ow, this. But, um yeah, so I played a little bit of Dead Space like years ago. It was I I'm not a fan of horror games. Have you ever played any horror games before? Mm, like VR. Like VR. Uh, oh my gosh, like that's rooms, that is the, the scariest rooms. thing, dude. Dude, it's okay, it's us and ten people and um but just go in the back rooms and it's like su- it's like a sewer and it's just dark and you gotta find your way out and it's a maze yeah and you hear like intense music going on you're like oh what's going on and all of a sudden you look back and it's whatever uh, skinwalker like with, this, <laughs> with that uh, troll face coming after you you gotta hurry up run and make it to the uh, gate to get on to the next level and it gets scarier and scarier that sounds that it, sounds it was, fun it was terrifying the only VR horror game I've played was uh, Resident Evil. Uh, Biohazard, I think it oh, was. Yeah. Dude, that is terrifying. Even whenever it's not something that's chasing you, just like the environmental uh, like storytelling and, and horror in that way. Um, like there's a there's a room where you're walking and it's like you're like in this flooded basement kind of and you're walking around and out of nowhere there's like dead body just, just floats, floats up to the top up. and just oh, seeing no. it like and it's not like it's going to attack you or anything and you know that it's just but it's just like it's horrifying just to look I at like that. Uh-uh. it's crazy um let me see do you believe in ghosts um i do you yeah, do i do um uh, i mean i hadn't seen any that was actually going to be my next question. <laughs> I haven't seen any recently, but I have seen ah, recently. I have seen some like in my past. Would you be able to elaborate a little bit on your experience? Um, like, uh, like when I was like young, I was just chilling on the sofa, and I can look, and I I knew it wasn't my shadow because uh, I mean the, the blinds were down, we mm. it was still dark. And I just look, and you can just see like. A human figure, like a head and then like the shoulders, and it just kind of like freaked me out a little bit. Oh, dude, I absolutely and I know what you're talking about. And then uh, I looked back and it, it was gone. Yeah, I, so <laughs> it kind of freaked me out a little bit. It's interesting that you say that because that is such a common experience too, like a shared experience. Me and all my siblings, whenever we lived at uh, our trailer back in the day, um, we all saw it. Like I, I remember being young and sitting on it was this little like spider-man mini futon type what was that i don't know oh that was your laptop was my laptop did that i guess never heard that before anyway but yeah i was a it was like this little kitty like a spider-man futon thing that you Mm -hmm. could like move around yeah i was yeah i was sitting on it in my room just staring at my closet door 
so here's my closet door and then here is the uh the door to leave the room and i just watched okay. this full-on like just black figure just walk through my door walk around in front of me in front of the closet door and then walk behind me and whenever i turned around to look and see where it went it wasn't there anymore it wasn't there yeah, that's and the i w- i immediately got up and i was like uh i, I don't know what this no. is and i drew a picture of it for my family and and like the years later like we we continued seeing it it was yeah. very strange it is crazy to see some stuff like that i mean oh it's crazy i don't know like some of it can be terrifying or some of it just like just have a little shock you know yeah uh, it was just weird when i had when i first saw it because like i i didn't know how to react i just saw it and i was just i was just looking at it and i was like, yeah i was just confused because I, I, I thought there was actually somebody behind me and look back there's nobody behind me it's, so i'm just looking at looking at the uh ghost and i was just like all right it's kind of like uh, you talked about uh with the horror game earlier you talked about like uh skinwalkers have you ever had a scenario where you're outside and you hear someone calling your voice but no one is <laughs> when when i leave when i leave hunting like when i oh dude, god <laughs> hey when i turn when i i'm gonna describe to y'all where i go hunt it's cane fields cane, cane fields and in the woods i'm in the woods at like six o'clock at night i leave the woods in the middle of the cane fields i can hear like i know i can like just hear like something and I look, and it's like nothing there, but like, it, yeah. it's a sound like you never heard before, or like, like you think you heard somebody say your name, mm-hmm. but you didn't. I don't, I don't know, but like sometimes. Then you just see a I deer like, standing on its hind legs, walking oh towards my you. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I feel like that could happen. I mean, it. I, could happen. Oh, I don't know, dude. It's it's crazy because like, uh, even sometimes like, if I'm leaving my house. And it's nighttime, like I or like if I have to bring the trash cans to the road, I'm, oh, my driveway is like too long for that. So like I, I'll be thinking like, man, dude, Jeepers Creepers gonna come out the sky or yeah. something and come pick me up. It's, uh-uh. And then they, they got these noises that just yeah, noises I don't who knows nowhere. where it's from. It's not birds. Yeah, it's not birds. It's not uh, squirrels. Yeah, I mean the squirrels make like. Yeah, I mean yeah, you know it. Not, 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 not like that. Have you uh, have you ever been camping like just in like the dead middle of the woods like? Yeah, that that will produce or, some of the scariest noises you've ever heard. Even like late at night when you're in the woods, like when I'm leaving to go, when I'm leaving after hunting, or even when I'm camping, the coyotes. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> the coyotes, and they sound like oh, hyenas, you? dude. They're like, Misha's coming, and hang out. Hey, Misha. Please don't knock anything down, Misha but um yeah no they sound like like a pack of hyenas yeah. like it is actually insane and they sound close oh close. yeah close oh yeah and that's that's one thing about so i have i'm surrounded by cane fields on like all ends yeah um so it's like you it's it's scary to have a pet that lives outside because i mean the coyotes are are hungry every night and you hear them because if we draw if we uh like old food, we will go dump in like the cane field behind yeah. my house sometimes, and the next day it's gone because the coyotes just come eat it. Yeah, and it's just, uh, crazy. I I feel like it could happen to me when I'm walking out the woods. Oh, I, I really hope it don't, because <laughs> um, the way I'm walking out the woods into the cane field is just it's just empty rows. I mean, you can yeah. see. But all I can do is just hear, and it sounds a lot more than like probably five. Oh yeah, and and that's the thing. It's like if it's just one of them, like they're gonna be they they won't want to attack you. But if there's a, a few of them together, they're gonna be a lot more confident. And they know that they can take you down. And where I hunt it, it's like Bella, like Collins dog. Bella. Yeah. Saws. Oh my gosh. This is big. Because I caught him on camera, and they are some big coyotes. I'd be scared of one coyote that big, bro. That thing is that is huge. That's like a that's like a wolf. Yeah, a yeah, full on yeah, wolf. Like wolf. <laughs> um, yeah, no. A while back, I was I had just gotten home, and uh, so my family has like too many vehicles, so they yeah. took up all the good spots. So I had to park away away from the garage, and whenever I got out, I just heard the howling so close by. I like ran under the garage and like uh-huh. slammed that thing closed. I was like, dude, I, if one follows me under here, I'm screwed because I have to find and my key in the, the black thing, of the night. The thing is, they curious. Oh, it's scary, they are curious. I'm not a fan of that. Um, speaking of that kind of thing, do you believe in any of those, like, uh, I guess you would call them, like, 
cryptids, which we kind of we kind of talked about skinwalkers and stuff. Do you do you think that those might actually be real? I think so. Like I don't know, some, man. Sometimes uh, I don't know. Like I think it. Like at times, I think it's a possibility, or I just don't think about it at all. Or I like to be open to to any possibility, pretty much. Because I feel like the day that I go in the woods and say there, there, there's no such thing as skinwalkers is the day that uh, a, a rabbit's going to just turn into a naked man in front of me and start sprinting towards me. And that's not going to be a fun day. So right. I think it's good to, to, to be open to the possibilities so that you can be prepared. Yeah. Because if, I, if you hear someone calling your name in the middle of the woods and you, you, are, you didn't go in with anybody... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you gotta know not to go That's towards it because <laughs> it, it kind of terrified me at once. Because uh, my dad kind of like called my name like Mason, and I was like, "What?" And I was like, "Oh wait, he went hunting with me." Yeah, because he was all the way in the front. And he was like, "He had called me," and I was like, "Dude, what?" And he had called me. He's like, "Hey, what you at?" Oh, I'm in back. All right, I'm in the front. I was like. Thank God, because <laughs> I I thought it was something. It, it scared me. Oh yeah, they they got some scary stuff, man. Um, then there's like uh like like Bigfoot. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Oh um, what you call that? Uh, big big tata. That's what they call them. <laughs> the big tata. Big tata. The big the big tata is. Uh, Dorugaru. Dorugaru. Um, I don't think so. I don't know that I do either. Honestly, uh, my dad, my dad was actually in that, uh, uh, what was it Boggy Creek? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, in one of the scenes, they are at um, Lake Dotrieve Landing, mm-hmm. and Miss Fran was in there too. I think, huh? Is that the yeah, same one? Yeah, yeah, Ms. yeah. And there were like a bunch of kids like running around on the dock, and my dad, I can see my dad. My dad was in. The he movie. was one of the kids. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah, cause that's a pretty old yeah. movie. I think he was. Huh? He was uh like for the set. Uh, we can't find the pictures, but. He had took a picture with like the hands mm-hmm. of the uh the Sasquatch and then, like the the mask. That's cool, man. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I, um, an interesting one. It's funny because we've been on this topic for a little while now. But uh, like the Mothman. Have oh. you ever heard of like interesting stuff about the Mothman? Kinda. Yeah. That dude. That there's so much. Like right there, I have a. Uh, oh, excuse me. From Fallout seventy six, I got a little poster of the Meyer from West Virginia. When we went to West Virginia last, uh, I guess winter or springish. Oh yeah, that's like uh, Virginia's, um, what, what you call it, uh, urban legend. Yeah, yeah. What well, that's the thing. West Virginia has a bunch of them. They have like the yeah. Flatlands monster. They have the Grafton monster. They have uh, the Mothman, the Sheep Squatch. They have all kinds of these, yeah, and it's sheep, like. Sheep head. I, I, after a while, it's like, man, why are people? <laughs> why do people live here? Like, yeah. why would you ever live? And why would you ever is, go to the woods over there? Yeah, and if it is true, like, uh, why? Yeah, why are you over there? <laughs> yeah, bro, get out. Um, like, like, oh, I want to go check out the uh, the Mothman, like the um, Monster Hunters. I know, yeah. I know it's a fake show, but uh, they got people like that in real life. They uh, go like in the woods. And they do like the Finding Bigfoot uh, oh my gosh. TV series. Oh my gosh. That just reminded me. Had you ever watched, I think it was just called like Urban Legends or something like that. On, something like that. You remember that? And they had like all kinds of different, there was like the, the devil dogs, uh, the, the uh, gosh, what's the one, the one that eats the cattle, um, the, the, oh, Minute? Chupacabra. Chupacabra, yeah. The Chupacabra. Um, they were, dude, they did so many and it was so interesting to watch and they did like a kind of like found footage type stuff and yeah like thing. animation dude it was so it was so it, it good was, yeah and <laughs> I, I i knew it was kind of fake but the, the way they acted and they're like oh, oh he's yeah. up there and then the, and then and like, like they'll drop the camera and then yeah. the monster will come like you look at the camera or something and yeah. I, I mean at the time I, I was i was scared watching it i thought yeah. it was i, was, I believed in I was it terrified yeah um no like they were walking you're like oh this was where this must be where uh, Sasquatch was at, and it was like two trees, and it looked like it looked like a like a den, like a cave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody closed the door hard. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, "Oh man, what's in it?" So they went inside, and all of a sudden you just hear like that uh, that roar or holler from whatever, 
And they whoa, whoa. And they, they look and they look and it goes straight to commercial. I'm like, bro. <laughs> they they plan it perfectly. They go back to it and they're like, dude, we got to get out of here. Let me see. No, that was, I, I liked In Serious. Oh, that, that was one of my favorite ones back in the day. I used to watch it all the time. That one and, uh, f- dude, Fun and Bigfoot went on f- forever. The Fun and Big one, Finding Bigfoot. But see, that's the thing. It's like they take these impossible tasks and they make a show out of it because they know that it can go forever. Yeah. It's the same thing with, uh, did you ever watch The Curse of Oak Island? The Treasure Hunters? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, that one, like, Oak Island? Every yeah. single episode, right before a commercial break, they're like, oh my gosh, this could be it. We found, we we, we really found the treasure now. And yeah. then they dig it up and it's like an old pipe yeah. from like the 1800s Oh, yeah, or it was something. an old pipe with like some wood. And he's like, oh, dude. But poss- this is a good possibility. sign that we're on the right track. We're on the right track. So <laughs> Wait, if you look at commercial, I'm like, bro. It's so annoying. Um, and it's it's literally like it's literally like a piece of gold or something. Right. Or yeah. even like gold. No, Gold Rush. I like Gold Rush. I don't know that I ever watched that one. Gold Rush was basically just people mining for gold. It was pretty cool. That's a, that seems fun. I would. I, have you ever have you ever been to like Colorado or Tennessee? Tennessee, yeah. I have went you to ever, Gatlinburg. Oh, Gatlinburg. Ha, did you go to any of the places where, like, you can, like, pan for gold and stuff? Like, the little rock shops and stuff? Yeah. Oh, we went to, so cool. like, um, the caverns. Like, we oh, went dude, in a cave. Caverns are awesome. We went in a cave, and they had, like, bats, and they had, like, the, uh... Yeah, what you... They were Minecraft. Them, uh... Stalag- stalactites and stalagmites, or... Yeah, whatever it is. It ain't, like, they yeah, the, 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 the Yeah, the... Yeah, they're like, oh, don't touch it, uh, don't touch the water. It took millions and millions of years for this. Yeah, well, that's a, that's yeah. what's crazy. Like you're, the oil on your finger could just like destroy it, like yeah. somehow. I don't, I don't understand how it works, but very interesting. Um, what's your favorite? What's your favorite like crystal? Oh, um, emerald. Emerald. That's emerald. a pretty one. Emerald like one. or uh, amethyst. Okay, let me let me expand that a little bit because that was that was a, a hard question when I say crystal, um, which I mean you can still stick with the answer, but to expand a little bit, I guess mineral would be a better term to use. So like just interesting, cool like rock formations and things like that. Hmm. Uh, it, you can stick with the same answer if you don't have another one. Like, but like rock material. Yeah, so like like gold or like uh, I'm have to go with like pyrite or whatever. Fool's gold. Fool's gold is cool. Yeah, that's a really cool one. I like um, my favorite is probably bismuth. Bismuth, bismuth is the one. It's like a, it's like a blue and yellow color. Okay. And it uh, it makes these like crystal structures that looks like a like a temple almost. Okay. Whenever it crystallizes, it's so watch. I'll try to find a picture to show you. No, you ever seen like the caves? Like they. They uh, hang from a rope and they go down and it's just like I them. would never, <laughs> never they in my look, life. Like, do I would I would never do that because it's just it, it's nothing at the bottom. It's just crystals and stuff. So that's bismuth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah. It's Dude, so that's, cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll show it to the camera so that they they know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's like blocks. Um. Yeah, I I don't like caves in general. Um, they're like they're super cool, but they're also pretty terrifying. Um, what's your favorite time of the day? Uh, like um, four thirty, five o'clock, like right before sunset. Yeah, which is sad because that I I I hate that that's right before sunset. <laughs> like it shouldn't be, but they're gonna change the time actually. Yeah, I mean eventually. After yeah. this, when they change it, it's gonna be permanent. Are you serious? Oh yeah. How did I miss this? I, f- I feel like I heard they, about. They I feel said, like I heard about that. Yes, last year they said this, but they were gonna, they go, they were gonna permanently oh, change it. No. This year. So okay, so, so what does that mean for so, when the sun sets? Is it is it gonna set at like six thirty going forward or five thirty? Or like later. So like now we're an hour behind. Yeah. So they're gonna so push it forward and then keep it like that. We're gonna push it forward and keep it like that. Okay. So sunset. I prefer that. Sunset probably won't happen till like six thirty, seven o'clock. Oh, so perfect. Like, so okay, like a good. Whole hour that, later. Because see, when I get off work, I get off at five. And it's just dark. Uh, like a month ago, I had about fifteen minutes of daylight before the sun went down. Now it's it's it sets it's, around like six. It's but, crazy because 
every day, dude. It it gets a little, a little bit further. Yeah, that's cool. Cause sunset right now is between five twenty and five thirty ish. Cause I mean, okay. I, I look at it on my phone, or like um, not not the sunset, but a uh, sunrise. Mm-hmm. Sunrise is sunrise used to be like um. Like late, like um, oh well, like seven ten. Now it's like right at seven o'clock. Dang. Yeah, it, it change it changes. I don't know why, but it yeah. just changes a lot throughout the throughout the months. I was gonna it say it though. Time. I wake up so like I I, I go to work at eight thirty. I mean, well, I, work officially starts like we open the doors at eight thirty, but I get in at eight to get ready and stuff. But I wake up at like. 725 so the sun's already up by the time i'm up i get dressed and i, I leave by like sometimes like 736 i get ready and i'm on a roll and i'm ready to get out yeah um so like it's been a long time since i've woken up and the sun has not been up yet like if i'm waking up in the morning normally the sun is already out yeah to for the day like when i get to work the sun's out yeah but like when i leave for work the sun's like just coming up which is weird because again like getting, getting ready i don't know i guess i guess uh whenever they push the hours forward it's gonna be dark because i mean the, like sunset's gonna be uh i don't know what I, oh well uh let's change the subject I, I, time is confusing yeah. <laughs> yeah, time is very confusing uh do you prefer cookies or brownies cookies or brownies cool what about brookies oh Ooh, ooh, that's a good no, one. Uh, Wait, what do you call it? Is it a, a brookie? A brookie? A brookie? Cookie gotcha. and brownie. I thought you said a bookie, like bookie. <laughs> bookie. Bookie bear. <laughs> bookie bear. <laughs> no, I'm going to go with uh, cookies. Cookies. Cookies, yeah. I feel like cookies are more, uh, um, there's more options for cookies, you know? Like a, a, lot more, a lot more cookies than there are brownies. Macadamia. Dude, that is by far macadamia my favorite. One, macadamia uh, is so good. White chocolate, uh. Rocky, uh, some people do Rocky Road. Um, yeah. Salted caramel, so the salted caramel ones from uh, from Rouse's are pretty good. Yeah. I like those. Rouse's, has, yeah, no, dude, Rouse's, oh my gosh. My mom used to get some, there's, oh, there's one, it's called, uh, or like a Royale or something like that. And there's like, I'm not even a fan of coconut, but there's coconut in it, uh, God, what else? It might be chocolate, macadamia, and coconut, like, all together. Okay. Oh, my gosh, dude. I, yeah, Heavenly. I know what you're talking about. I'll try so those. good, those dude. Nice. So good. And you, you, I would I would heat them up for, a little, like, probably, like, a, oh, man. Like, I put it in the microwave for, like, 10 seconds and yeah. warm it up. Dude, those are good. Uh, I wanna, okay, uh, so I had switched for a little bit to the less serious question, so I want to get back on track to some more serious ones. All right. Um, how do you feel? This is going to be fun. How do you feel Hello? about? Right. You hear yourself still? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Hey, I can say if you want, we. If, no, 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 I should be good. Okay. I, I thought I pressed a button. Oh yeah, no, I pressed a button earlier too. It doesn't affect anything. Okay. Um, how do you feel about our government currently? <laughs> Man, uh, <laughs> I don't like. It. I'm just. I'm gonna say. I'm. I'm. I'm just here to listen. I'm not. I'm not here to here to argue or anything. Um. It, it could be a lot better. I feel like um, I would agree. <laughs> a lot more better. Um, like uh, inflation, inflation. Yeah, inflation is uh, not good right now. Not right now. Um, what is it like? Uh, Twelve dollars for some eggs, right now. Yeah, bro. It's going up, it's dude. Going if up. your house in Minecraft was real, you'd be making a killing right now <laughs> with all them chickens you got in there. Yeah. Um, um. <laughs> no. It, it's true because uh one we know around a uh, Minecraft realm and I had left for a couple of days and I came back and somebody had put like a um a chicken dispenser and they just had <laughs> chickens all over my house and I just see eggs everywhere so I was it like just, all right it uh it like exponentially just continued yeah, to grow just continued, and grow continued continued um what I was gonna say about to kind of continue um. <laughs> Yeah, gas, for yeah, example, is, is oh my gosh, dude. Um, it just went down and it's back up again. Yeah, it went down uh Walmart the Walmart in New Iberia. Walmart in New Iberia and then a circle K right next to it. 
the Tefa Tap right now. Um, you know how much it is right now over there? Um, I think it's like. <clears throat> excuse me. Like three. Three twelve or something like that. I figured but it'd like, be cheaper than. But like two weeks ago, it used to be like. Um, it was like two two seventy. Yeah, I was say, it was like two seventy, and I was like, man, they were, they we're having a nice downward trend. Like every time I would go, it would get lower and I lower. I think the lowest this year was like two forty something. Like the the lowest yeah. was like in the two f- low twos. And uh, um, so at oh my gosh, I feel like I just got louder or something. I don't know. Um, in San Martin Villa de Ville, uh, gas station. So it was like. That that's where I normally put gas because I mean it's on the way to work it's on the way home from yeah. work so um, I put gas there and it was like three dollars for a while it was it was under three dollars I want to say and then it went up to like three oh nine I was like okay I mean it happens it'll probably yeah. go back down and now it's at three twenty nine and I was like okay this is it's starting to hurt a little bit after a while yeah. you know and so I, I tried uh, the Walmart in uh, Broussard and that one I was I, I figured it would be more than the one in my Uh that one is like three. 19 i think yeah and it's like that's man, the average price right now it's crazy dude it's crazy yeah um let me see yeah with the government yeah yeah uh, i do agree I, I think we can do a lot more better with it do you have a let's see what are some like policies that we have today that you would change if you if, say you were president for a day what what would be your like first three actions. Um, to help out the homeless, I would want to do that first. Um, like stop. Try to stop all riots and protests or wh- whatever. Whatever people are doing nowadays to cause more chaos. Mm-hmm. Um, just just try to make it a little bit better try to make the world or the not the world the country a, a little bit more better you know that's what i think yeah um it's keep the keep the homeless uh in ho- homeless shelters keep them fed um stop all riots and whatever and um definitely lower gas prices yeah. i would definitely do that I feel like almost, <clears throat> I don't know, it's, it, there's so much, because I agree, definitely, I think, I think, uh, like, homeless shelters and, and, and building, uh, like, I, safe places for people to go who are uh, less fortunate, and even, like, education and, and things for, for people who, who can't, Jesus Christ, it's a bug, um, like, that's, that should be a major focus. Yeah. Um, it's just so so hard to allocate for a co- a country that's oh, already that. in yeah. debt. Um, debt and education. Ed- education is a huge, huge, huge focus. Day. Okay, I think I think I can move. Nope, I can't. No. Okay. <laughs> um. No, uh, education, uh, big major too. I forgot about that. Um. So now, now that we say what what you would do if you were in in office, um. What are some policies that we have currently that you disagree with, would you say? Could be any number. I mean, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I asked that question. I can't think. I, I don't really know enough. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm going to be honest. I don't know enough. <laughs> I mean, there's some things that I, I like believe in, but I, I don't know that there's I mean, I know a few off the top of my head that I, I mean, this isn't, this isn't about me, so I'm not going to mention them, but none that I would really, I don't know. It, what's interesting to me is that we have a president that's a Democrat, but yet, like, it's not, they're not doing much no. to help the Democrats' side. No. Not really. Which, I mean, to be fair, yeah, we have checks and balances. That's kind of yeah. the whole point of it all. So to whoever's the president does not mean that the Democrats or, in, like, or whoever the party is in it's the presidency more. is, yeah, they're, yeah, getting more they're not getting necessarily going to be able to put more of their own things yeah. into action. Just doing it equal. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me think. What, 
Is there any way that you think you could get... It's so hard to word this question. Um, A way to bridge the divide between the right and left like what kind of common ground do you think you would need to find with 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 some people in order to allow them to see each other's sides um or actually to to begin with are you the kind of person that would even want to to bridge the gap with with someone on the other side oh yeah or do you think they're too far gone uh some Some, yeah i would i would agree there that's some for sure it depends some that are like no that like oh yeah this is Definitely not right. We should be doing that. Mm. But people that like agreeing with it, like, oh yeah, it's like, there's no problem with that. Like, those type of people. Yeah. But like, just the people that that would like think a little bit on the left or like a little bit on the right or mm. just both, actually just both. But um, yeah, I really do think we can uh, build a bridge between that. It's. I think the 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 important it, thing is that we all want. At least for the most part, we all want everyone to be happy. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. that's the main thing. The problem is that some people's happiness hard, comes at the cost of others. It's possible, but it's going to be hard to do. Yeah, very hard. Especially uh, with the fact that I think politics has, with the two-party system, has become a kind of uh, almost a game where yeah. uh, it's all we have to do is make sure that the other side doesn't win. Yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. how our side is doing. It doesn't matter if we're actually helping anybody as long as the other team doesn't get what they want. And I think that's one of the biggest issues. But um, uh, outside of politics, let's, let let me move away from this. Right. This is this is too yeah. too much. I want to what I want to do one day um, is I want to like I don't even want to be like in the video. I just want to get like some of our friends to just debate about certain topics. I think oh, yeah. that'd be fun. Like you and like Gavin or like Alec and Reagan or somebody. Just like. Two people just arguing with each other. I'm trying to think. Um, Debating, not arguing. Debate, not like bad. four people or just two people? Two people. Two people. Oh, well, me and Gavin. <laughs> I don't me know. Ga- me and I, Gavin ain't really got much to do. I don't, see, I don't think that y'all would no. really <laughs> disagree on much. Probably me and um, Alec, but me and Gavin are just about I think, the same. I think, so, yeah, I don't know. I, that's that's something for another time, but I think that would be a fun idea. Um, what do you think is the most important thing in life? Um, I think for caring, caring for uh, each other, you know, um, that's what, that's what I want for everybody, you know, um, even though, um, everything right now is going bad, you just gotta love one, one, each other, you know. Uh, shoot, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I had something else I was supposed to say, but I had forgot it. Um, Take your time. I'm no, to find just a to uh, position this. Have peace with everybody, you know. Even though they're your enemies, you know. Um, like God says, uh, love your enemy. Love your enemies. Even though they don't love you back, you know. Forgive right. them. And I, I do that all the time, you know. I cross, I cross between enemies sometimes, and you know, I just forgive them, and that's. I think that's what's, I think that's what's the best thing that you can do for that. Right. I I would agree that I think love and forgiveness are probably the. Probably the 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 biggest things because, like people make mistakes, and I mean there's a there's a line to forgiveness that you have yeah. to have to hold and because i mean and even if you forgive somebody it's okay to not like you can you can forgive them and, and still not want to deal with them anymore like, things forget, like, that. like what he says uh forgive and forget yeah um that's what some people do a lot forgive and forget oh um, I, I try to do that too oh gosh what was that oh my gosh I, I i there was something i was gonna say that i forgot what it was is that Dead Space Three? That's Dead. Space? Yeah, that's still Dead Space Three. <laughs> Bro, you act this every like every twenty minutes. Okay, so that's the new Dead Space. No, that's oh, you know that's no, that's Dead Space Three still. This is all. This is only Dead Space Three. That's this whole video. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, we have. So it's a video on my TV playing something, okay. some kind of interest retrospective thing about Dead Space Three. Um, let me see. Uh, if you could, did I ask you this yet? If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Oh yeah, you did ask. Me. I did. Well, I think so. Um, not. Uh, I don't mean as a president. I mean the entire like planet to stop wars. Solid. The, yeah, there's no there's no meaning after winning or losing it. You win it or lose it, what's the cost? The cost a lot of casualties, you know, um people, cities that they have the fights in, you know. Um but what you get out of that, you know. Mm. Uh, I I, <clears throat> I think it should stop, you know. Um Nobody deserves it. Nobody does. I mean, there's no point. There's no point of it. People in power, um, they just become corrupted, and they want to yeah. show people how powerful they are by winning wars and taking more for their people. Things like that. How, that's not how it works. I agree. Um, back backtracking a little bit to the forgiveness thing. Have has you has anyone ever done anything to you that you would consider? unforgivable no 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 nothing nothing bad no that's good that's a I mean probably like some uh, like uh no no like just to mess around with me but yeah. nothing like <laughs> nothing bad to her like oh yeah I ain't forgiven you yeah. for that no. You're like 13 reasons why type shit <laughs> I heard of that a reference, but I never really. Oh, you never watched it? I never watched. Uh, it's a good show. Well, I mean, I guess it's debatable. I mean, there's a little controversy around it, but I, I oh. thought it was good. What what doesn't have controversy around it these days? Yeah. Um, it was. <laughs> I have some fun ones. What's uh, your favorite kind of noodle? <laughs> Udi noodles. What's that? It's like some big like lo mein noodles. Uh oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Like the like the, the, are they, like rectangular almost? Like, or are they like round? Like, uh, like oh, rectangle-ish. Kinda. Interesting. They have those at uh, oh. bull, Bojangles. Bojangles. Bojangles and uh, Jane's. I don't know that I've ever had. You said stir fry, was it? It's like it's stir fry, but it's bigger noodles. I don't think I've ever had the stir fry at Bojangles those before. Oh, excuse me. No, you're good. Um, do you have any any like jokes that that you like to share with the audience that you think would be funny? I, I'm I'm bracing myself for this. <laughs> I wanted this, the one that I had said last night. Okay, there's a hey, look. No, 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 no. If, if no, it's no. gonna be a flight risk, I can't. No, not that one though. <laughs> I don't wanna, it, it didn't I don't think it would sound bad but I don't want to <laughs> okay okay well we don't need to do a joke <laughs> um what's your favorite kind of uh, vehicle the Colorado really I would have to agree with you there dude they're so the, cool the Colorado or the new Broncos the new oh, the Broncos the are new beautiful too. Broncos. God, they're so oh, dude, the old Broncos. And you know what's also uh, one of my favorite vehicles ever? You know Adam's Jeep. Yeah, I like that. Dude, that thing is I love. As in, I, I see like so that. many of them, and there's like memes about how it's like just one of the best vehicles yeah. of all time. Like it's so it's cool, small, dude. It's small, but it's powerful. <laughs> it's, that, it just looks that awesome. Thing, man. That thing got some power. But um, yeah, I mean, if I could get a Bronco, I'd get a Bronco. But I would, I would, I really just, I've thought about selling my Colorado. But I mean, the gas mileage would not be much better if I got a car. Yeah. That's the whole reason why I bought the Colorado was to get better gas mileage, pretty much. For uh, when I had my two thousand, two thousand seven Silverado, I was getting ten miles into the gallon. Yeah, I had a I had a two thousand six Silverado, and I was. I mean, I wasn't getting that little, I don't think. But, I mean, I wasn't getting much, for sure. It wasn't great. I get, I get like, 23 miles to the gallon. Um, That's about how much I get. I fill up full tank, and I get, like, four, 
450. I was say, I, 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 I average, depending on how I've been driving around that period of time, between like 420 to 480. So we're, 450 is a pretty good average. Um, what about cars? Cars. Favorite car. God, I want I, um, I want to be able to move this out the way so bad. Oh, uh, um, I have I don't know what kind, but um, Ashton Martin. Ashton Martin. Ashton. I don't even know if really. I have to look that up. I got I got to look at that. I don't even know what kind of car. Honestly, if, if I'm gonna be honest, I think my favorite car would probably be like a Nissan. I just love Nissans, Nissan, dude. Yeah. Like it's so basic, but they they just look so nice. I think they the they the best basic car. I they, see a lot of those. They're really good. Those and Hondas, cause just Hondas are super reliable. I know. Uh, Aston Martin. You know what I haven't seen in a while, hmm. or like I don't see a lot of, like minivans. Like the, <laughs> I gotta remember what a minivan even looks like, dude. <laughs> like the the, Holy crap. the old uh. Chevy minivans. Why do they call them minivans? That thing is not small. Like oh, it's the same size as a. <laughs> I don't understand why they call them that. Yeah, no, yeah, we we took one of these to uh, Colorado one time, I think. Um, oh yeah, you did. It was a <laughs> for your. <laughs> I should have turned this off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, that just that just got me all gore. But uh, let me see, Aston Martin. I gotta go back to find the pictures of that one. Oh yeah, that's a nice car. But yeah, um, Nissans are just they just look. So cool. Yeah. I got a, I got a, another good question. Uh, who? Who would? Asked. Oh. <laughs> who did ask? That was a good one, right? Okay. Was a good that one. was. I thought that was a good one. Um, if you could be anyone else in the world, who would you be? Oh. Uh, man. Joe Burrow. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, it's not not a bad choice. No, it's not really. Speaking of Joe Burrow, the Bengals. A- I just, just noticed your shirt literally just now as soon as you said that. <laughs> We're going to get the win tomorrow. I know if I doubt. Uh, no doubt. Um, AFC Championship with uh, Patrick Mahomes. Hurt ankle. That was a bad injury. I saw that. Um, they had, They hit him, and when they hit him, he went this way. And his whole ankle went that way. Oh, so God. Like it, oh, like it, oh, It ow. bended or whatever. Ow. And that was bad. And this is why I don't play sports. <laughs> and he was limping the whole time. I I think it's going to be a good game, but Man. the Chiefs, the Chiefs ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to make it out. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Bengals. And then for NFC, it's possible I'm going to have to go with uh, 49 ers Because they got the 49ers, the Eagles. And then the Chiefs and the Bengals left. When? So, so, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I cut you off. That's my no, you're good. So whoever wins tomorrow, whoever wins the AFC, that's between <laughs> the Chiefs and the Bengals. Whoever wins, that team goes to the Super Bowl. That's exactly and what I was going to ask. And then the <laughs> NFC, the Eagles and the 49ers, whoever wins that, goes to the Super Bowl. And the NFC okay, so they, and AFC. Gotcha. Wait, what's the, what's the difference between NFC and AFC for someone like me who doesn't know anything about sports? Gosh, I uh, NFC is like um, hmm, like more of like more of the left side. Of so it's just like a regional thing, kind of. Yeah. Okay. It, it's some kind of cut cut off between the states. Uh, let me see. Uh, at, uh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look it up. Whatever, right. it's not that big of a deal. But, uh, it's good. Okay, next question. Wait, this what, is, what was the question that you had? Like, oh yeah, um, who would I want to be if? Uh, yeah. What would I mean? Who I want to be? Yeah. Um, I think. Um, what's his name? Man, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty close already. I would. I was gonna actually say that. Um. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Robbie Downey Jr. Oh, that's Rob, a good one. Robert Robert Downey yeah. Jr. Or uh, you can say uh, Robbie. He's like a friend. Or um, <laughs> what's his name? Robert De Niro. Oh, that that look, that's that feels like the perfect one for you. Honestly. Robert De Niro. But like back in time, Robert De Niro. So you get to be in all the movies and oh, stuff wait. still. Mighty Mix. Um, oh, I liked it. That's a good one. 
One of the last, okay, so second to last question I'm going to ask, what would you say is the, I mean, this is kind of similar to other questions, but what would you say is the meaning of life? <laughs> yeah, similar to what you had asked me. Um, I think the meaning to life is to live it to the fullest, no matter it's just a, if it's a bad day or a good day, just appreciate that you live in that day, you know? Because you, you never know. You never know when it'll be your last. And I, I, I appreciate, I appreciate uh, being able to wake up the next morning, you know, going to work, doing whatever. But... Uh, that's that's what I think. I mean, just being appreciative of the life that you have, no matter if you're going downhill or up north. Um, you know, yeah, just be appreciative that you'll be able to live that life. It's and all part of the experience. It's just yeah, it's part of the experience. Yeah, that's beautiful. What I, think. I agree. I think I think just being able to accept the ups and the downs uh, as not equals, but yeah. equally accept them, uh, and just acknowledge that, yeah, we, this I'm I'm having a bad a bad time, um, but if you never had bad times, you wouldn't be able to even recognize the good times, and it makes you, it helps you to appreciate it that much more. So yeah. I I agree with that for sure. Um, and then the last question I wanted to ask you, we're approaching the hour mark, is we are, what uh, if you had one piece of uh. I guess advice or something like that to to give to the audience. What would you uh, advise them to do? I think you asked me that. Already. No, that I asked you what you would tell your oh, your fifteen oh, year old yeah. self. I mean, yeah. if it's the same thing, that's fine. But oh man, um, sorry. Can you repeat? The, can you repeat the question? Uh, if you if you, it doesn't even need to be advice. If there's just any. Uh, anything. anything that you would like to share with the audience um, that you think may be helpful or important for them to hear, what would it, what would you like to share? Um, I think um, just uh, I'm gonna say it uh, just to like love one and the other one one. I'll go, brother. One one and the other. <laughs> one and the other. <laughs> Open in your. <laughs> Uh, love, one, I, I, I can't talk about I, that. I understand what you're saying. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Uh, love one another. Um, always make the right decisions. Even though you make bad, there's always time to make it, make that up. Right. Always time. Even though time is short, but you can always, there's always time to make, make up for that. You know, um, that and just think think of your friends your family only worry about you and the people you are surrounded with don't go out your bubble that's what i'm saying don't go don't go out your comfort zone because you don't want to get in a mix of something and it's going to turn out very bad for you that's that's what I think. Just to just to stay in your zone, you know. Just that's how I think it is. I I try I just try to not to get in all in the mix with what the world is going through right now. I'm just trying to keep it to. I'm just trying to keep where I'm at to where it is where I'm at right now. You know. That's what, that's what I think I, it's an interesting uh, think. point because most of the time when when people talk about their comfort zone, they try to say to 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 leave your comfort zone like it's important yeah. to, to get out but i think it's also important to recognize whether like where you are and what you really need at a time if if it's a bad time for you to to get out of your comfort zone like it's okay to stay yeah for however long you like need what but i'm what i'm saying it totally up to you it's cool to leave your comfort zone or whatever but I would just rather just stay where you at, you know. Just, okay. I mean, if you, what that's all up to y'all though. That's what I think. Uh, whatever decisions y'all make, that's totally up to you. 
Nice. Is there uh, anything else you'd like to share about yourself or anything before we before we send this bad boy off? Oh. Uh, yeah, um Man. Anything you'd like to plug? <laughs> Socials or something, I don't know. TikTok. Yeah. If y'all want to see uh any more content of me, um just follow my TikTok. Um Nonky May. Nonky underscore me. Um you'll find me there. So yeah. Sounds good. I'll try to put a little uh text thing so that they can get the spelling and all that right yeah. also. But all right, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, you're it welcome, was a man. blast to talk with you for just about almost exactly an hour. Yeah, well, yeah, it is over an hour, but yeah, I really appreciate this uh, the conversation. Thank you for conversation that we had, you know. And uh, I definitely probably am going to want to have you back on again in the future, too. Um, okay. Maybe not even to talk about, like, there's the seri- more serious interview stuff, but just, you know, just random talk- things. Yeah, topics. just random stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you for coming, and uh, I, I'm happy to have had you on here. All right, man. And uh, I'm excited to show this to the world. <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank y'all for watching uh tune in keep 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 uh uh you know keep an eye out for more videos like this because i do plan on doing some more with some more people um just to get some more views and ideas uh not views like like watch views i mean you know ideas that people hold um just to kind of have some interesting things to discuss so if there's anyone that you'd like to see on here uh anything you'd like to hear us discuss please comment it below and uh, I look forward to putting some more stuff out for y'all. So thank you for watching. If we don't see y'all, my bad. Oh, if we good. don't see y'all anytime soon, you have a good Mardi Gras, right? And K-pop. And time to get capoted at the Mardi Gras parade. I got capoted at the Mardi Gras parade.